So for our net games for our kinder and first graders, we usually will use just the net. You can set it up long ways or short ways, whatever you want, but we will typically just set up the net. But we've been playing Battleship this week, and this is a super fun game for second through fifth. I will link it below because it is awesome. But we use the same setup and it gives our kids a chance to practice with not being able to see the ball until it's coming over the net. So this is a great um, chance for you to practice those skills of catching um, as well as throwing in our net games. The first one is called Clean Up My Yard. Now, you've probably heard of that. It's a pr pretty simple game. You just spread out balls all over the court and they are simply throwing the ball over the net. When the timer stops or you say freeze, the kids sit down, stand up, hands on their head, whatever you have them do, but freeze and they can't throw anymore. And you count how many pieces are in your yard. We call this the trash. You wanna get rid of the trash. Now that's not nice to be throwing trash into somebody else's yard, we tell them, but in this game you will. You count how many pieces of trash is on your side versus the other team. The team that has the least amount of trash is the winner. So that is a very simple game called Clean Up My Yard, but you will see that the kids will really get into it, super fun and engaging. We will also sometimes add, when we just have the net, we'll add like the, the frog or some type of rubber animal that is slid underneath the net. And when the timer goes off, they cannot touch that and whoever has the frog on their side or the rubber animal, whatever it is, then they add five points. So that's another twist to um, the simple game of clean up your yard. So once we've played clean up your yard for a little while, we will then move to falling stars. And falling stars I love because kids are not only working on their throwing, they're now working on their catching. So the game is simple. You continue throwing the ball over the net or you can choose to catch a ball. And if you catch it, it comes over the net, I catch it, I run back and I place it in our big basket back in the back for my team. Now, at the end of the round, whoever has the most in their basket, this team or the other team on the side of the net, is the winner of that round. Now, we also will sometimes do a magic ball and we do not tell them what color the magic ball is until the round is complete and it's time to add up the scores. But if you have the magic ball, say that it's yellow, any yellow ball you have is worth five extra points. So it's a fun way to mix it up. You can kind of look and see which team needs some more points to score. And maybe that is the color you use. But this is a super fun game. The kids are going to leave tired and exhausted, working, having worked on both their catching and their throwing. Both these activities are super fun for kinder and first. As always, keep it simple with the young ones. And I hope you give it a try and make it a great day.